What is up guys, Morton here from SteamFirst.com with a review for Pixel Puzzles Undead Z, a puzzle game with some pretty unique elements. Developed by Decaying Logic and released June 6, 2014 on Steam for $7. Now, when I said that Pixel Puzzles Undead Z was a puzzle game, I meant it literally. You actually complete jigsaw puzzles, but that's not it. You also need to stop zombies from invading and killing you. The gameplay is actually pretty interesting, fun, and can be quite hectic sometimes, but it relies on you enjoying jigsaw puzzles. If you don't find them fun, there is no chance you'll enjoy this game. But if you do enjoy puzzles, then this has quite a bit to offer. The main element is the jigsaw puzzle itself, of which there are 19 different puzzles, all of which have to do with zombies and are pretty gory and bloody, with anywhere from 60 to 350 pieces, and overall the puzzles are actually really good. Not only does the size add difficulty, but the shapes of the pieces are also pretty unique and can add quite a bit of difficulty as well. On top of that, the pieces move around outside the puzzle area, which means finding the right piece can be hard, especially when there are hundreds of pieces you're looking through. And because the space is limited, it can actually be a lot harder than a real jigsaw puzzle since you can't keep the pieces still very easily. Now on top of the puzzles themselves, there's another aspect of the game, and it's the thing that makes it a lot more entertaining than actual puzzles. Zombies spawn every so often, and you need to kill them before they reach the character you control. The controls here are pretty solid, it's mainly just line yourself up with the zombie and press space a few times until they die, and if you get overwhelmed press Q to throw a grenade. For the most part, only one zombie will spawn at a time, but every few minutes a bunch will spawn in a row and you'll need to kill them all before they break down the wall and get to you. That sounds pretty easy, and for the most part it is, but you only have a limited number of bullets and grenades, and once you run out you'll need to buy more. You get money by completing the puzzle, every so often you'll put down a piece and get some money to buy ammo, grenades, trip wires, or extra walls. So if you're having a particularly hard time with a puzzle and it's taking you a while to find the pieces you need, you can easily get overwhelmed with zombies and not have enough money to kill them all. Overall, the gameplay is really fun, the more difficult puzzles can have you running out of cash, and if you don't make the right purchases, it's easy to fall behind, and then you start to panic to kill the zombies while at the same time trying to complete the puzzle so you can get cash to buy ammo. The gameplay gets a 4.5 out of 5 overall. It really does a good job of blending two genres that have no business working together, top-down shooters and jigsaw puzzles, and it does it in a really fun way that works surprisingly well. My only complaint is the fact that if you start a puzzle, you can't stop halfway through. You need to finish it or you'll have to restart it next time. On top of the gameplay being good, the visuals are nice too. The puzzle designs are all themed around zombies and the undead, and they're all really gory and gross and awesome all at the same time. The zombies in your character and all that aren't super amazing looking, but that's not really what you're supposed to be focusing on. The graphics get a 4 out of 5, everything looks good and the puzzles are really cool. While the graphics were nice, the audio was pretty boring, the music was just the same thing over and over and got repetitive fast, the gunshots were decent enough, but the sounds the zombies made when they got shot seemed really exaggerated. On top of that, the music and sound effect volumes reset to max every time you started the game, which is incredibly annoying because it's so loud at first, so you have to go into settings and turn them down every time you start to play. The sound gets a 2 out of 5. It was just pretty boring and generic and not all that interesting. As for replayability, there really isn't much in that regard. Obviously, you can continually replay the puzzles, but there's no incentive or reason to do that. Now, if you don't need a reason and you just enjoy playing the puzzles over and over, then there's tons of replayability. And because the puzzle pieces do randomly move around, it would still be somewhat challenging to complete the same puzzles repeatedly. There's also some achievements that you can get, but they don't require any extra work. You'll get most of them by playing, and the ones you don't get the first time, you'll get just by playing over and over. Replayability gets a 2 out of 5. There's just really not much to do other than complete the same puzzles again and again. Overall, Pixel Puzzles Undead Z is a really interesting and unique take on the puzzle genre, and combining it with a top-down shooter works well. Add in some great looking puzzles and good controls for everything, and you have a pretty solid game. Pixel Puzzles Undead Z gets a 4 out of 5 overall, but it does come with the obvious warning that if you don't like jigsaw puzzles, you won't find this game particularly enjoyable. But if you do, for $7 you'll get 19 puzzles of varying difficulty, and also a fun strategic top-down shooter mixed in, so it's definitely worth a look. 